This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. To see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Let's begin the sample. If you've worked at a company or been at a company that uses Outlook for their email, well, most likely the email is actually held on a server. And that server is running Microsoft Exchange. Exchange has been around for a long time, and it handles the sending and receiving and storing of email, in addition to many other things like calendars, contacts, tasks. All that information is normally held on a server that's running Microsoft Exchange. And Outlook is actually one of the clients we used to connect to that server in order to read our email that's held on that server. Now Exchange Server is normally used heavily in Windows environments because it's heavily dependent on Active Directory. Active Directory holds all of the user accounts for a domain. It also does a lot of other things, holds computer account information, things like that. And for Exchange, holds a lot of information for Exchange. So Active Directory is necessary for Exchange Server 2013. Because of that, if you aren't familiar with Active Directory, definitely recommend going to the Windows Server 2012 R2 Administration Training Basics on ITDVDs.com. There's a section in there on Active Directory that we definitely want to go over to get a, a good foundation of Active Directory so that we can work with Exchange.